Dad was right. Feels really good to be a member of a team. Now, next week, do I bring knishes or a low-sodium bunt cake? You know, honey, why don't you let me tell your father the good news about being on the team? Because you know he's just going to die. <laughs> and I may not be far behind. Uh, Niles, mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you only had one son, and he decided that he wanted to play on my grandmother's canasta team, how would you react? Oh, I've got to be in there for this. I want to see, too. Oh, what's your cover? I can pretend I'm dusting. Well, I'll tell him I need a book. Oh, amateur, you're not ready for that room. <laughs> Oh, sweetheart, the office is for heavy hitters. Next time I'm in the kitchen giving your father a coronary, you'll be the first I call. <laughs> Maxwell, perhaps I'm being overly sensitive, but I think Niles has it in for me. <laughs> see, see, it's just his way. He doesn't mean you any harm. I'm sure it's all in your head. It's fine. Back from the batting cages. How did my boy do? Well, he made contact with the ball. <laughs> and uh, he'll have a great career if the Bee Gees ever get back together. <laughs> Would you look at her in the middle of the day? Boy, I wish I could sleep like that. <laughs> That's what Niles hit me in the head. See, see, he's standing way over here. Stop picking on the man. She never lets up, sir. <laughs> Did you want something, Niles? Can't the butler just come in and say hi? <laughs> All right. What are you two up to? Nothing, nothing. Um, well, uh, baseball didn't exactly work out for Brighton, but he did find a game that he's very excited about. Well, there you are, you yeah. see. I told you there'd be an alternative to television. Yeah. So, come on, what's the game? Soccer? Hockey? But you, you got to fill me in. I need to know what equipment to buy. Well, maybe a nice Teflon bunt pan might come in handy. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to spill it, because it's best to tell people stuff instead of letting it fester inside, and then you babble on and Miss on. Miss Fine! Canasta! Canasta! <laughs> canasta? Don't your mother and grandmother play canasta? Miss Fine, you're not telling me my son is joining your mother's canasta team? No. It's yet his team. <laughs> Look, maybe you misunderstood me. I wanted him to play a manly sport, you know, toughen him up a little. Well, some of the teams have men, I think. <laughs> At a certain age, the hormones goes, and it's anybody's guess, really. <laughs> God, this is sounding worse by the minute. Oh. Next, you're going to tell me they have a uniform. Oh, well, now they're very tough, masculine, pink bowling uniforms with a name on it. Oh, no. It's going to be something awful, like flushing queens. <laughs> oh, my God, you mean that's it? <laughs> my only son is going to be wearing a jacket that says Brighton on the front and flushing queen on the back? <laughs> Will say Gert. Oh. I, I better take care of that. I better take care of that before the contest in Atlantic City. Are you insane? You, you don't actually think I'm going to let him go? And if you're going to pretend you're dusting there, at least put a bloody cloth in your hand. <laughs> Maxwell, if the child has a knack, I was good at hunting. But Mummy said I excelled at trapping. Oh, take good care of your teeth, sir. You may need to gnaw off a leg someday. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, you're worrying for nothing. I had a friend, Paulie Rufo. He was raised by two grandmothers. He turned out to be the most masculine of men. You should see him today. Big black mustache, leather cap, chaps. Hmm. <laughs> Bye.